Hello there everyone and welcome to another video with me, KJG. Today, what we have is day 11 of the Science Advent Calendar. Technically, um, you'll get a little bonus video, um, depending on whether or not I, uh, I actually can be bothered to do it. Um, but, we've had an equipment malfunction. So, we are meant to be demonstrating vortexes today, which we're going to do, and I'm sure, again, many of you have done this before. But anyway, uh, this is meant to screw onto the top, and uh, one of these is meant to be empty, one of them is meant to be full. I screw this to the top, and then the full one's put on top, screw to the top, and then uh, it, the water doesn't fall. Um, but, it doesn't fit. It fits Coke bottles, not these bottles. So... We're going to do a different experiment where we empty them and see whether a vortex makes it quicker. I'm sure all of you have done it. But first I'll give you the explanation. What is a vortex? A vortex appears when a liquid drains out downwards and moves in a circular or spiral pattern resembling a funnel. Vortexes are also called whirlpools. However, vortexes do not only appear in sinks when emptying a bottle, as we're going to prove, but also in the ocean and rivers. They can become very dangerous to swimmers or even boats putting them down into the depths. Once it was believed that a water vortex always turned in the same direction as dictated by the rotation of Earth and the Coriolis force. However, today we know that small vortexes like loads in a water bottle or a bathtub are too small to be affected by these forces. Their direction of rotation is basically random. There are other factors including uh, influencing the direction of vortexes, including small bumps in drain pipes. The Coriolis force. Every water vortex on Earth is affected by the Coriolis force. It acts on objects like a vortex in a rotating environment, including the Earth, as it spins on its axis. If the Coriolis force acted on a water vortex without any additional effects, uh, the vortex would always turn in the same direction, namely counterclockwise counterclockwise on the northern hemisphere and clockwise on the southern hemisphere. On the equator, both directions of rotation would be possible. Yeah, that's that. So, we are now going to test it. So, here we go. So, we know that if you empty a bottle... It takes rather a long time. However, if you use the vortex force, if you use the vortex force like this, you put your hand on top, you flip it over, you spin it, that's what meant to happen. Um, yeah. So guys, in conclusion, we learned that, um, well, as you saw towards the end of the bottom bottle, if we span it around, it created the vortex, which made the water come out quicker. If you enjoyed, leave a like, subscribe, share it with a friend, comment down below your views, suggestions, above that, subscribe, thank you all so much for watching, have a lovely rest of your day, until next time guys, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.